Hey guys, it's Risa. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Jovex's map. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But he says he wants a bright style uh, simulator low poly sort of theme. And remember guys, if you do want to be featured in one of these videos in the future, remember to join the Discord server. Link in description. And remember, if you do enjoy the video, like and subscribe. At 100 members in the Discord, we are going to be doing a giveaway as well, so go look for that. But let's go right into the video. So first what we're going to do is I think I'll start with the skybox so we're gonna go ahead and open up Atmos if you don't have this it's 150 robux I've talked about this in videos before but I think I'll just get some sort of sky like this and eh, maybe not I think this one will work well we'll go ahead and use this one or maybe something a little brighter maybe something like that I think that looks nice but we'll go ahead and look at what he has in lighting first of all Okay, looks like he has some sky. That's the default sky, I think. He has some bloom, color correction, depth of field, and sun rays. We're going to need to do a lot with this, though. We'll check his properties as well. Not really a whole lot going on. Okay. We'll start by adding some atmosphere just to get some of that going. We'll change the density down. And actually, that uh, brighter sky might look better for this. So we'll go ahead and actually add this one so we can get sort of more blue in there. And the ambience, I think he might want to go with the blue theme, because that's what it looks like he already has kind of going. But we'll start with some color shift. And let's see where his sun is. Okay, his sun is directly overhead, so we're going to have to move this, definitely. <laughs> let's go ahead and mess with his bloom. Change the threshold down. Let's make the size bigger, just so we can get the sun looking a little bigger. Except that might be a little much, so we'll reduce the intensity a little bit. Go ahead immediately add some color creation, maybe 0.5, and then a little more contrast and more saturation. But that's looking a little bright, so we'll make that a little less bright with that bloom. Next, we have our depth of field. Change this in focus radius a little bit. There we go. Now we'll go back in our lighting and we'll increase this shadow softness a little bit. Let's check out these. Actually, leave these both all the way up. I like kind of how those look on this map. Maybe turn it a little down a little bit. Our ambience. I think we'll go ahead with the blue. I like the blue actually. But we'll make it a little darker just to kind of give our shadow some contrast. And our outdoor ambient will actually do the same sort of thing. We'll make a little bit of a purple though. Maybe make it a little lighter. And maybe make this ambience a little brighter as well. I'm not sure if he is cast shadows on for these he doesn't I don't know if he wants them on but uh, that's I don't know why he doesn't have cast shadows on fed all right he said we can go ahead and turn on cast shadows so we're gonna go and do this real quick now if you scroll back down here yep it's already looking like a lot better <laughs> it looked a little weird without the um, shadows on there but now it looks a lot better I'm not really sure if I like the colors he picked for the trees compared to the grass but that's not really up to him I'm just here for lighting let's actually go down here and I feel like his exposure compensation is a little bit much so we're gonna try that we'll actually move the sun be sure if I want something more overhead if I want something more like that sorry looking way better I feel like it should have a little less uh a little more blur so we'll actually turn that up yeah I think that looks nice there's only a couple more things I want to change with it which I'll do those real quick all right and there we go I just changed up a little bit of the colors and stuff just make them a little bit brighter and made the shadows a little bit softer but I asked him what he thought and he thought it looks amazing so that's a success for me remember if you guys did enjoy the video and want to be featured in a future one join our discord we're also doing a giveaway there at 100 members. If you did make it this far in the video, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll definitely see if I can make videos on those. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. But anyways, peace.